Hi, my name is Alistair Lee. In this tutorial, we're going to look at event administration in Adobe Connect 9. Event administrators are a new role inside of Adobe Connect 9. To take a look at some of the features that an event administrator has, I've got an Adobe Connect Central homepage open here. I'm going to click on Event Management and then Event Administration. There are two event roles in Adobe Connect 9. There's an event manager who can create and manage events. And those roles are what you purchase. And then there's the event administrator. And you can assign any number of people to be event administrators inside of your organization. And that's what this first tab allows me to do. It allows me to move people into the event administrator group. The second tab is analytics administration. This allows me to connect my Adobe Connect account with a bigger Site Catalyst account. Adobe Connect 9 uses Site Catalyst to provide all of the analytics. And if you're a hosted customer, then you automatically get Site Catalyst as part of your Adobe Connect 9 offering with the events package. However, if you're already a Site Catalyst customer and you want to broaden the analytics, find out where people are going from your main website to webinars, you can actually provide your own Site Catalyst credentials. This will allow you to track not, not only webinars, but see how webinars fit into your broader marketing strategy. You've also got the option on this page to uncheck the Enable Opt-out for Participants. Part of the new Adobe Connect 9 features are the ability to measure engagement inside of your meetings. And participants are asked to opt in to that engagement. If you want to remove that message where they're able to opt out, then you can do so on this tab. The third tab is something that allows you to manage your event tags. This is very important because it allows your customers to take a full event catalog filled with 20 or 30 events and filter them based on the different tags that you've got. You'll see there are some default tags that come out of the box, but you can delete any of these default tags and add your own. So if you've got specific product lines that you'd like to use, if you've got specific business units you'd like to use, you can use those as tags to allow your customers to quickly filter those different events inside of the event catalog. For example, here I might want to add one of the product names for Geometrics. I've got a product called Triangle. So I can quickly create a tag name and a description that goes along with that name. And then when I'm creating a new event, this new triangle tag will be available as something that I can apply as metadata to that specific event. The fourth tab allows me to manage email aliases. This comes in handy because there are a lot of emails that might get sent out for a specific event. Typically those emails have the event creator's name on. But if you don't want to include your personal email address, you can use this manage email aliases section to set up different aliases. This way I can send an email from the Geometrics Administrator and have it automatically forward to my personal email address. Participants who receive those emails, though, won't see my personal address. If they reply, it will reply to the Geometrics Administrator, and Adobe Connect will automatically make sure that I get all of those different replies. If I want to create a new email alias, I can simply click the Create button, type in the alias name, and then the email address that it should be forwarded to. Very, very easy to manage all of the different sections in event administration. Thanks for your time.